Welcome back to No Man's Land, where some resemblance of normality has resumed. Uh, we are back to normal farming after an extravaganza of landscaping and uh, buying a couple of more uh, productions which we will need to uh, deal with right now. Um, so we'll start with the uh, additional bakery which obviously will need some flour and I believe we have plenty of flour. Let's see where the trailer is. Hmm. Oh! The flatbed trailer. The other trailer's gone. Um, where's the flatbed trailer? Let's see if we can find it. <laughs> uh, oh, it's down picking up the gold. Okay. Uh, gold production is still going. Now, I uh, also have a worker seeding this field. We've got 31% seed, so we'll get, uh, get them back operating. Just check, see how they're going there. Yep, that's going pretty well. That's uh, oats going in there. And uh, that will need fertilising and not liming, I hope. Doesn't look like it. No, just fertilising. The, the rest have all been done, uh, although there will be uh, the new uh, vineyard down there, which will need another application, as will the uh, first vineyard. All right, we'll, we'll get to those. All right, we'll leave that worker to it. And we'll get back over to the trailer. Yep, wrong key. That's better. So that's all the gold there will be at the moment. Um, but we'll do a quick uh, product run and uh, get these things sold. The animals are all okay. Checked on them. But we'll see if we've got any other products we can sell at the same time. So there are a few pallets of clothes there, but the price I just checked is uh, pretty low. So we won't be bothering with those. So it'll just be this little bit of gold here to help boost our bank balance at the start of the episode. Very nice. Nearly 100,000 just from that. So we'll be up to a million again before we die. So we'll get this back over uh, to the uh, the grain mill and we'll pick up some flour to deliver to the new bakery which we can see over there to the left. Right, let's get in there through this rather narrow gate got some flour. Should be quite a bit of flour here. Yep, more to spawn. Uh, what uh, the bakery doesn't take we can sell to clear that uh, spawn point. Now, where's the delivery point? I hope it's not at the front there where I put a fence. No, it's just the uh, to access the settings uh, must be here yes there we go uh, hopefully this will fill it up may not check how the other one is going as well well certainly took it all so, let's have a quick look here. This is the new one down here. Oh, it yeah, didn't even touch the sides, did it? And just check the other one, which is that one. 
it's getting a little bit low as well. So we'll get as much flour as we can. I did have that set to distributing originally, then I changed it back to storing. Um, with two there, we could probably go back to distributing maybe again. We'll see how it looks. That could be all. Yep, well I always say this and more appears. See, just like that. I might even say it this time. Let's just assume that more is going to appear. And of course it won't. Alright, could be it. No, it's still going. Look, that's a full load though, isn't it? Not quite. Now it is. So we'll get uh, the new one topped up and activated. I don't know what the difference is between the two bakeries, but I thought I'd go for a different style. And increase our bread production. Don't plan on making uh, cakes or anything else at this stage. But a uh, possibility for the future. That's probably going to be about half full, I reckon. Let's have a look. Uh, that's the original one. Not even half full. But we have plenty still spawning. So we shall keep topping it up. There's the work again. Must be getting uh, low on C. Oh, well, that's the last of it then. Um, knowing uh, from the other bakery, it, it uh, does take quite a while to go through the flour, so that's a good thing. Right, last bit of flour. And we'll get this uh, back over into the farmyard. Get the uh, trailer dropped off here somewhere. And uh, we will need to pick up some grass. No, hay we need, don't we? Okay, we'll see how we go with this. I've got a feeling it may need to go into the mixer, which doesn't make a whole pile of sense, but uh, just remember my uh, controls here, and we'll just try one bale. Oh, I'm too high, too low, I mean. That's better. Right, let's try this. Should just be able to dump it right where that trigger is, but it didn't seem to work. Maybe I was too far over. And of course, I might better see it, the thing here. <laughs> so, no, it's it did. It took it. There you go. Excellent, well, I'll come back after I've uh, sorted out the cows, but firstly let's just check if they do need water, doesn't look like it, they must have automatic watering. Um, yeah, can't see it anywhere, so I shall come back when they've uh, had their supply of hay. Rightio, the last uh, bale, out of that load anyway, might not be the last bale they need that in there and again it's a bit hard to see what's going on in there so there we go let's just see yeah that got them to almost halfway I probably can deliver with the trailer if I get it in over this side maybe 
but the fact that I can't drive through is making it quite awkward. Um, but I will give that a go next time. That will uh, get this back over in its shed and uh, just check what we're doing next. Uh, probably the cedar has probably run out, so we'll get that sorted. that drop there and turned off now let's just check out this uh, worker over here yes he's run out all right so I shall go and uh, fill this up and get the worker back on and now I just realized I didn't activate the uh, the bread did I no I didn't so now it's activated Yep, that's all we need to do. I shall uh, see you back here when the uh, cedar is spawn. Right, yeah, I managed to get in the right position eventually, and uh, that's the cedar topped up. Close the cover, and we'll get this worker back in the bed. Decided to switch the from the square bales, which aren't really used in the area where I live, so I was using those because it's a lot easier to do. You just drive along and. Yeah, no stopping and starting, but we'll switch back to round bales, which means take getting the, uh, the baler that we've been using and swapping it out for a, a round baler, which I shall do as soon as I get this worker going. Just unfold the tool. Setting off. Yep, yep, it's going all right. So we'll jump into the uh, case tractor and grab the baler. I suppose eventually we won't need the silage uh, baler at all. Uh, I bet it's around the other way, isn't it? Of course it is. Yes, it's a good baler this one, I enjoyed using it, but it, so I was only doing it because it was easier, not because it was fitted with what I was meant to be doing on this uh, map. There we go, alright, we'll get this over and uh, sold and see what we uh, have for a new round baler. And the other reason I want to do this is uh, we don't feed our sheep grass here, we feed them hay. So doing uh, uh, grass is not really realistic. So we'll be feeding them hay in the future and making only hay. Which just makes more sense. Okay, so that's the equipment repair. It doesn't cost much. The paint. Did indeed. That's worth quite a lot of money. Over a hundred thousand. Uh, sell that. And let's see what we have in balers. Don't know a lot about balers. Go and see if I can find a good mod for a baler. Okay, we are back and we have the new Crone Com Prima. That's pretty cheap too. And that does 1.8 bales, I believe. Uh, don't need to change anything there. We shall uh, buy that. And pick it up. And then we will have to uh, get mowing. Actually, I believe all our mowers are prone, aren't they? So, yeah. It all matches. It seems quite small, though, doesn't it? Just checked that it does do 1.8. Uh, sure, it does. 
Yes, that's one for that. Right, well, get us back over to the uh, farm and then we better look at um, getting some mowing done on it. Well, it's good to have the time to do this sort of work while we're waiting for crops to grow and uh, seeding to be done. Uh, there is some fertilising to do. Uh, I wonder if this grass field is ready for another cut. We do have all the meadow grass on our land that we haven't... Uh, I think we might have cut a lot of it once. But, um, but that was all just ready to cut. Ready to harvest, it is indeed. Alright, just uh, move this out of the way. That can wait here. And we bring this tractor back over and uh, get the motors all set up. Alright, that's the mower all set up, ready to go. And we just need to, we don't want swath dropping because uh, we're making hay. So change that to wide spreading and also for the front mower wide spreading there we go and we'll uh, time lapse the production uh, of our next, next batch of hay
wraps up the uh, wind rave and just this last little bit here don't bother trying to get it all you'll see I upgraded the uh, wind rower and the, um, the tether that's what I was trying to think of Rightio, that will do that. And we've got the worker over on the big field right over there who is doing the fertilising. Doing a good job. So we'll get back over, get this back over into the yard and that will about wrap it up for this episode. Uh, you might notice that I didn't uh, Put the tether into that shed. I'll put it over here and I'll I think I'll organise a different shed for these. It's a bit hard to get in and out of that one. Uh, not even sure if I'll leave that one there, but we'll see. Oh, drop that off there. And the baler's been sitting there waiting patiently. And they'll all be, be put to use in the next episode. Let's just check how the worker is doing. Ah, good timing. Just about wrapped it up. And covering it very well. Double check. Oh yeah, beautiful. So that will need a uh, another application where we move on to the next day, which probably be after the bailing and probably after uh, dealing with all the animals in the next day beginning of the next day so those cows are fine uh, they're going okay as well uh, just starting to produce some slurry so that's good uh, hopefully there'll be enough overnight to keep the uh, production going Chickens are in need of food and we haven't got any at the moment. Double check that. Nope, we don't. So we'll have to, uh, they might have to wait till the wheat gets harvested, but um, they should be all right till then. And the sheep are good as well. And still 80% left. And that's the work I finished. Fantastic. Get this back over in the yard. Well, the farm's looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. Right, we'll get this put away in its normal little spot over here. Yes, certainly do with a, another shed, I think. Another big shed. We've got quite a bit of equipment here that's uh, kind of just sitting around. That one's full. That might be good for the tractors or something. Well, actually, this shed's probably underutilised, so yeah, we'll work all that out. Rightio, end of another episode. Uh, another busy one coming up. I hope you enjoyed this one. So uh, yeah, please subscribe if you haven't already uh, subscribed to the channel. It really helps us out. And uh, leave us a like and a comment if you've got anything uh, constructive to say or even a criticism. But uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.